I'm going to think aloud about the masks today. Nobody in the scientific community should be afraid to question any dogma, any belief. Nothing in science is gospel or written in stone. When we offer any medical measure, like vaccine, we always talk about risks and benefits. And risks and benefits are both individual and societal. They are isolated and cumulative. One, I like masks, but one risk about masks nobody seems to be willing to talk about. Remember three years ago, we were all so worried about our kids and grandkids to saving the planet for the environment and for our posterity and we were willing to get rid of the fossil fuels, stop the automobiles, stop the airplanes. Remember the Green New Deal? What happened to our kids and grandkids now? The billions of masks, used masks in the world, made up of polyfiber, which takes about 400 years to degrade, are destroying the environment as we speak it. So we don't care about kids and grandkids anymore. Oh, we are vaccinated. So all of us have, will become important and then we don't have to worry about kids and grandkids. I'm being facetious and ironic. I'm ready to send a tweet out at, at Dr. Gorsi Ravi1, which is my Twitter handle. I think Omicron has made it easier. Billions of masks cannot halt the infection, but they can harm the environment. So somebody needs to speak up about it, think about it. Now, masks definitely help. Sure, there's a big study that came out from CDC. 656 were studied, 1176 were controlled, and they showed N95 will reduce the COVID positivity test by 87%, a surgical mask by 66%. Excellent, well-designed study. But don't show me the studies anymore by 800 people or 900 people. Look at the nations who have used masks. I mean, there are nations who have used masks beautifully, excellently, everybody abiding by it. And see where those, and they also did vaccination. And see where those nations are now. It means look at real life. We have been trying it for more than two years. The virus has mutated. Should our approach also not mutate? Means what is the definition of insanity? Trying the same solution again and again and expecting a different result. So, okay, N95 prevents the infection. But long as you keep wearing the N95, right? What happens when you stop wearing it? Or what if you make one mistake? It is not permanent. You have to keep wearing it to get the benefit. So my question is, like, is there any time limit on it? Means when, when are we going to talk about the phasing out? When are we going to talk about when to stop it? Means I'm a good citizen. I'm a physician. I wear masks, I wear them well, and I tell my patients to wear them, I set an example. I made videos in India, in Marathi and uh, Hindi. Many people watch them, I don't know whether they are viral, but they are at least bacterial. I don't enjoy wearing masks, but I wear them. But read my lips, I'm not wearing a mask right now. I'm not going to wear the mask for the rest of my life. I don't want to wear masks long as I live. Means if God wanted us to wear masks forever, he would have sent us on this earth wearing a mask. Those scientists amongst us who are making irresponsible statements like maybe all of us will be wearing masks forever, these people need to be involuntarily committed to asylums that take care of the mentally deranged. Means this is crazy. I don't want to keep wearing it forever. Now, there is one interesting thought. There are two interesting things that I will speak for the masks because it's a scientific community. We are discussing, we are thinking about both the sides. One thing I would say is a lot of people are saying that masks increase the carbon dioxide level and this and that. That's all nonsense. Yeah, that's all idiotic nonsense. Means people might feel little 
uh, especially with N95, that they are constricted. But I don't think there is any scientific study that shows that the CO2 levels um, increase. It might make you anxious. It's an irritation to wear it. I really get mad when I wear it. But I don't think there's any scientific study that shows that the mask actual cause harm. And there is one interesting theory that was published in New York Times about 18 months ago. It was very intriguing. And nobody talked about it then. Some doctors still believe a little bit in them. And I'm one of them. I'll tell you what that theory is. There is something called as LD50. That means the lethal dose or the infectious dose of a virus. So suppose a COVID patient sneezes near you and 100 particles of virus land in your mouth, you get infected and those 100 become 1 million by replication. If you are wearing a mask, not all 100 particles will make through and maybe you will get 50 particles. So those 50 particles can still make a million, but maybe 50 particles will make half a million. Would that make a difference? Some doctors believe, and I believe it not completely, that the initial dose which infects you, if that dose is less than the normal infectious dose, then the type of infection you will get will be less severe and your chance of serious disease will be low. And that would be a good argument to keep wearing masks means then the mask will almost become like a viral, live viral vaccine. You put a mask, go near a COVID patient, get a little bit of infection, and then you get the natural immunity. But there are no studies that conclusively prove this or show this. And one counterpoint to that is, now Omicron is the dominant strain in the entire world. It has replaced, it is replacing, so it's going to be all Omicron. Omicron is as it is mild. The deaths that we see in US are mainly in unvaccinated people and some people with extreme comorbidities. So Omicron is as it is mild, right? So I'm wearing a mask. For what then? I've taken two doses of the vaccine. I've taken the booster. I totally support the vaccines. I totally support the vaccine. They, You may still get mild disease but most people don't get serious disease i'm not going to take the fourth dose till they change the formula i'm not taking the same formula four times they have to change the formula if they are giving me a booster for a rna virus but i totally support the vaccine but if i have taken three doses of the vaccine and some of those people might have already had covid and omicron is already mild then why are they wearing a mask because their risk of infection being serious is already low because of the vaccine. They might have already had natural infection. So even if the LD50 is reduced, they are already not getting a serious infection. So why are they wearing masks? They are wearing masks to protect others from them. Because if they get mild COVID, they can still spread it, right? But if everybody around them has taken the vaccine, then everybody has a less chance of a serious disease. So then if everybody takes the vaccine, why does anyone need to wear a mask? So what I'm saying is the people who keep talking about masks, set a goal, set a limit and say that when 80% people have reached a level that everybody is vaccinated, then the chance of serious disease is anyway low. So then drop the mask. Means give some incentive to vaccinated people. If masks are made voluntary, then more, more people will wear it. I tweeted about it. Or you can say only vaccinated people can drop masks. Something like that. Give some incentive to vaccinated people. Now let's talk only about India. India had a lot of natural infections during Delta. And I think that gave them a basis of natural immunity that prevented serious disease in Omicron infection. There is no wave. There is no third wave in India. The death numbers that are being reported are inaccurate. Are inaccurate. They are not all COVID. And we have spoken about that before. 
So I am suggesting to India, India is such a big English speaking democratic nation. It has done such a spectacular job of vaccinating its citizenry. Show some guts. Show some, some gumption. Do something different. Come out and be the first big nation to drop the mask altogether. Say that we have had enough natural infections. We can stop it. This Omicron can be stopped. It is mild. It is doing what it is doing anyway. So why not stop this hindrance, this botheration? That, that's what my suggestion is. Now, JFK had famously said that ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. I would suggest that mask not your country and let's see what the free citizens will do to grow business. Because in life, there is COVID and there are other things. And the other things, it is increasingly apparent, are more important. Dr. Ravi Godse. I still wear masks and I still recommend that you follow the local government guidelines regarding the mask. I'm going to keep wearing them till my local government tells me to stop wearing it. But I'm imploring them to take this action.